In this video, we're going to be solving a typical exam type question with arithmetic sequences in series. Now, we're told that an arithmetic sequence has fourth term equal to 17, and the sum of its first 10 terms is 215. We're then asked to find the sequence's first term and its common difference. Now, to begin with, what we'll do is we're going to pick up on the key bits of information that we are given in this question, as well as pick up on what is actually being asked from us. So, we're told that it's an arithmetic sequence, good, and we're told that the fourth term is equal to 17. So I'm going to underline that bit of information. The fourth term is equal to 17. And we're also told that the sum of the first 10 terms is 215. So I'll underline that as well. The sum of its first 10 terms is 215. Okay, that's what we're being told. That's the information that we are given in this question. Now, the things we're being asked for, well, we're being asked to find the sequence's first term, so that's one thing we have to find, and its common difference. That's the second thing we have to find. So at this stage, we can already see that we have two unknowns that we need to find. Those two unknowns are the first term and the common difference. So I'm just going to write this at the top here, two unknowns. And I'll write u1 for the first term and the common difference, which I'll write d. Okay, now since we have two unknowns that we need to find, we're going to need two equations. And the way we'll find those two equations is by using the two bits of information that we're given in the question. In other words, we have two bits of info, and I'll just write two bits of info, and those bits of information were that the fourth term is 17, so I'll write u4 is equal to 17, and the sum of the first 10 terms is 215, so I'll write and s10 equals to 215. Now each of these bits of information will lead us to an equation. In other words, since we have two bits of information, we'll end up with two equations, which will allow us to find the two unknowns. So, two bits of information will lead us to two equations. Now, let's see how this is done. So, if we're going to use the first bit of information. We're told that the fourth term is equal to 17. So, I'm going to go ahead and write, okay, u4 is equal to 17. But now, since this is an arithmetic sequence, we know that the nth term of the sequence is given by the formula un equal to u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So for the fourth term, this formula would lead us to u4 equals to u1 plus 4 minus 1 times d, which leads us to u4 is equal to u1 plus 3d. And now, since we know that u4 is equal to 17, we can replace this u4 here by its value, 17. And that leads us to the equation 17 is equal to u1 plus 3d. And that's an equation that we're going to keep. We now have an equation with two unknowns, which are the two unknowns we're looking for, namely the first term u1 and the common difference d. So I'm going to box this result, or uh, this equation, and I'll actually call it E1, as in equation 1. Now, we've now used up that first bit of information. That's as much as we're going to get from it. So we move on to the second bit of information. The second bit of information was that the sum of its first 10 terms is 215. In other words, S10 is equal to 215. But we know that the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So for the sum of the first 10 terms, we would replace n by 10, leading us to s10 is equal to 10 over 2 times 2u1 plus 10 minus 1 times d. Simplifying this a bit will lead us to s10 equals to 5, times 2u1 plus 9d, and distributing this 5 leads us to s10 is equal to 10u1 plus 45d. But now we know that the sum of the first 10 terms 
was equal to 215, so we can replace this S10 here by 215. And this leads us to this equation, 215 is equal to 10U1 plus 45D. And there we have it. We've just used the second bit of information to derive a second equation. And this equation has two unknowns, which are the two unknowns we're looking for, which are the first term u1 and the common difference d. So I'm going to box this equation as well, and you can probably guess I'm going to call it e2, as in equation 2. Now, we now have two equations, two unknowns. In other words, we have a pair of simultaneous equations, which we need to solve. So, I'll choose a method of substitution. You could choose a method of elimination, but I'm going to go ahead with substitution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the equation E1, and using this equation E1, I'm going to come up with an expression for the first term U1. So I know that E1 is 17 equals to U1 plus 3D, and I can rearrange this to make U1 the subject. In other words, I can write this, u1 is equal to 17 minus 3d. And I'll stop there. I'm going to use this expression later on, and I'll just box this. Now that I have an expression for u1, I move to e2, the second equation, which was 215 is equal to 10u1 plus 45d. And what I'll do is I'll replace this u1 by this expression we just found. And that's going to lead to the following. 215 is equal to 10 times 17 minus 3d plus 45d. Distributing this 10 leads us to 215 is equal to 170 minus 30d plus 45d. Simplifying this a bit leads us to 215 is equal to 170 plus 15d. Subtracting 170 from each side leads us to 45 is equal to 15d. Now we divide both sides by 15, leading us to 45 over 15 is equal to d. In other words, 3 is equal to d or d is equal to 3. And we now have one of the two unknowns we're looking for, d. We know that the common difference of this arithmetic sequence is 3. Now, our final step is to go back to this expression we found for u1, which was u1 is equal to 17 minus 3d. And since we now know the value of d, which is 3, we can replace it and say that u1 is equal to 17 minus 3 times 3, leading us to u1 is equal to 17 minus 9. Finally, u1 is equal to 8. And I'll just box that result as well. And so that's how we solve this type of exam question.